Eiffel. Blond, 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 blond. Eiffel. Um, European title fight, which takes place, it's, in fact, in the, it says WBO super middleweight title, but it's not, it's the uh, super middleweight title of Europe, which takes place on the uh, undercard of the Nathan Cleverly Tony Bellew um, title fight in Liverpool at the Echo Arena on the 15th of October. Um, we were originally intended to put this fight in London, but we want to get James out as soon as possible, so that's the reason why. We've got this date because hopefully if he wins the title, which I hope he will, and believe he will, then we want to get him out again before the end of the year. He needs to get fights under his belt, and as I say that's why we're in Liverpool. So we've got an unbelievable card up there, uh, which I think is going to be uh, uh, one of the most exciting fights, uh, sorry, fight cards that we've put on for quite a while, including a Southern Era title fight, um, Billy Joe Saunders against Gary Borden, plus a lot of local Liverpool lads who are, as you can see from their records, are quality fighters and be our stars of tomorrow. Um, as I say, the show's going really well. We announced the, uh, the uh, Cleverly Bellew fight last week and we've sold out. The cheap tickets have gone already and uh, we are over half sold in a week. So we're expecting a full sell out now. Anyway, we've got Jim here who uh, trains uh, James and James himself. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them. Last time you were in Liverpool, you didn't go down very well, right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't, but... Uh, you think you'll get uh, Edge of Fine, but you'll be in time? Do you think they're going to support you this time? Hopefully, hopefully this time, Colin. Uh, I've, I've always loved Liverpool. I uh, said it's my second home up there. I know, I know lots of people, I've got lots of friends up there. Uh, last time I didn't get the greatest reception, but it was a great performance. Uh, so I've got great memories up there and uh, I'm looking forward to it. They cheer you when you come out. Yeah, they cheer. Yeah, they cheer when I come out. But it's a great city, and I love it. I love it up there. So uh, I'm looking forward to. It. Well, don't rush for these questions. <laughs> can, can you talk about the, the, the sort of things you've been doing then since uh, since your last? <coughs> oh, since my last night. Uh, obviously, I had a couple of weeks off, Pat, and. Uh, I got straight back in the gym, everyone knows what gym's like, he's straight on the phone for me, you've got to be in the gym, you've got this, you've got that, so I got back in the gym and we've been just practicing on cutting the ring down, it was one of the first things we started, uh, and throwing punches when I do cut the ring down, because maybe when I boxed Groves, uh, that's one thing I didn't do, I was cutting the ring down, but I didn't throw enough, didn't throw enough, uh, so I've been working all different things, but that's one of the main things, cutting the ring down, but throwing punches when I cut the ring down. And yeah, uh, you said what have I been doing? Uh, I've been training. I've had some great sparring the last ten days with Darren Barker. He's, 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 he's sparring and preparing for his next fight against Ojo Martinez. Uh, so I've been doing lots of sparring with him. Uh, so I'm in good. I'm in good nick. In good shape. Five weeks out from a fight. You're not going away anywhere before. Uh, I don't think so, no. No. You're gonna have to answer Jim now, but I don't think so. It's only five weeks now. Uh. So far we've been really blessed with the sparring, like everyone I've called or next week got something else coming in the week after Darren something. Barker. Yeah, we've had, we've had Barker. But James started off his early sparring, like just in his own gym. A lot of people just nice and steady and then once he's built it up, he started uh, and for me, just like I know it's just sparring but you know, everything in life happens for a reason and a couple of sparring sessions have had to be cut short because of James. <laughs> but um, as he said, no one will ever steal a fight of him. So everything in life is about a learning curve and James, you've got to give him such credit for the way he's dealt with the Groves loss because he said it is what it is and he's been straight back in the gym as he just said. But his whole attitude, just even in sparring, is a different, is a different animal. Have you watched the Groves fight? I've watched it a couple of times, Colin. Uh, and I still think I won it by three or four rounds. Uh, I think you, you, uh, you thought yeah, I won it by three or four rounds. Yeah, but uh, yeah, as I say, it's my fault. I only blame myself. The first six, seven rounds, they were, they were, they were close. I weren't firm enough, and he was running on the back foot. But I don't know how he can win the title off running off the back foot, but throwing so little punches. It weren't like he was boxing the back foot, but 
throwing those punches, combinations, hitting me clean. Different. You weren't doing none of that. So obviously I'm just baffled the way you want it, but uh, hey, it don't matter. I thought I won. It was controversial. A lot of people thought I won, but it don't matter because you've got a W. So we've got to just move on and get along with it. So what you're saying is completely out of your system? It's completely out of my system. People keep on saying, oh, I can tell it ain't out of your system. What do they want me to do? Of course it's out of my system. So I'm done. I'm boxing for the European title. All that's, that's all I'm thinking about is that pole. I want to be European champion and be back on top. Have you had a look at him, Phil? I have. Uh, not too much, to be honest. I've only looked on the YouTube uh, when he won the European title against Asuka Nine in it. I think Matthew Matthew knocked him out in the round. Uh, but he's tough, he's strong, he's a typical uh, Eastern European, and he's technically good as well. But uh, he's going to come to fight. He won't. He won't hit and run and try and nick the fight. He's going to come to fight. So uh, it'll be a good fight to watch. James, you've been doing some uh, workout with Tenerife for a couple of weeks. Some training out there. No, that no, that was before the uh, Gross fight. I did that. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, you going up there again then? No, I went to Cyprus a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my family was over there, so me and Chip went over there and used the army barracks out there and some of the lovely runs we were doing out there for a week. So that was nice just to break up the uh, camp because first I thought I'd box in the end of September, but then it got changed. So uh, it was nice just to break things up. Who else have got in line to spar with, James? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, Jim speaking to Dean Power, I think he's going to try and bring someone over from <coughs> Europe or Ireland. So I'm going to have some good, decent spine after Barker. Uh, Any other questions? Yeah, I've got a question. What did you think about George Bose joining your, uh, your stable? I'm pleased. Uh, I'm pleased he's joined. Um, he obviously, his team must have. Uh, I haven't spoken to him about it, but his team must be. Uh, must have a lot of faith in what we do, and I think it's going to be easier now to make the fight against James. And I mean, I'm, I've said it, and I, and I can't emphasise this enough. I manage James as well as promoting him, and if those two ever face each other again, I'll be in James's corner. But he'll. We'll be announcing the date for his fight in a. Um, hopefully tomorrow, and another big fight that'll be that'll be with it. So we got some. Um, just so I, as you know, I've been away a few weeks. Um, you were going to have a press conference with James, Groves, and Mitchell all together. Yeah. What made you decide to split them? Was there sort of you worried that there's still that animosity? No, I'm, the two? I'm not Sit worried. At the same I'll, table? I'll be honest, you I'm not worried about the animosity. It, it is there. I mean, there's no doubt about that. It, it exists between them. And uh, it's a bone of contention, certainly from James's point of view. I thought he won the fight as well. Um, that being said, I, as I mentioned earlier, I want him to be out twice this year. And if he fights late October, he won't be able to do that. So that's why we brought the fight forward. So we'll be announcing tomorrow um, Mitchell's fight, Groves' fight, and one other. For another no, big I just cut. wonder why if you split them up for a definite reason no, second thought. It was not at all, no, no, it's just the fact that I, you know I want to get I want James to fight twice this year. Providing he wins to fight twice this year because as he said, you know, um the poll's gonna be it, it's gonna be a handful. You know, he's he's a he's a competent he's a competent amateur and he's a very competent professional. Um and I know you know James mentioned about Macklin knocking out the guy that he won the title. With, but a lot of things happening in the around the fights, uh, you know, whatever way you want to look at that. But this guy's got a good track record. He's been there. He's done it. Uh, he's ranked number two in the world, which is even more important. Um, so, you know, win this fight, and after 12 fights, he could be ranked number two or number one in the world rankings. So he's got lots of lots of gain out of this, lot to aim for, and to, you know, improve. On what he did last time, we all know we all know what it what it was and what it, it you know how he could have been more emphatic in the first six rounds, but I don't think that's ever going to happen again because he, he you know he learns from his mistakes. 
And this is by far my hardest fight to date. Oh. Yeah, good point. Are there any other questions? Are we all done? Can I just add, sorry, the, the press conference, I've told you we're off tomorrow, but you're all definitely on that, so... <laughs> And to add to that, we've changed our address. That's the wrong address on the bottom of that. So we've moved. It moved offices. Same phone number, different offices. So um, we'll see you tomorrow at the press conference that was cancelled this morning. Same time. Tomorrow is twelve o'clock. Oh, it's put back again. Yeah. Indecision's final. Oh no, it's just, it's just can't make his mind up the point. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks very much for coming up, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.